Go Burns! Climbing back upon Mount Soapbox for another rant. And this path we're taking feels like deja vu, like we've been up this part of the mountain before. Over and over and over again. Rockstar releases a vehicle, they hype it, they promote the hell out of it, it's expensive, and it's a disappointment. A ripoff. And the Ubermach Revolter is a prime example of that, which came out just a few days ago for $1.6 million in Grand Theft Auto currency. It's obviously, you would say it's a sedan? No, it's not a sedan. Once again, Rockstar misclassifying their vehicles, whether it's uh, unintentionally, intentionally, or reasons. This is a sports car even though it clearly looks like a sedan. So let's talk about the price tag real quick. $1.6 million in the game. Now, a Great White Shark card, which you can purchase for $20 US, will get you $1.25 million in-game currency. In other words, the Revolter, which is a very fitting name for this car, is in real life money supposedly worth more than 20 bucks you could get a decent meal for 20 bucks there's a variety of things you could purchase for 20 dollars us that would be a much better investment than this piece of crap which i would like to point out isn't even tangible you know you can buy a meal it's tangible you can actually eat it and other things you can buy at the store wherever tangible you have it in your possession so, not only is this an intangible object, because it's digital, all pixels in a video game, it's not even very good. It's most definitely not worth 20 plus dollars to buy this POS. Not only is it misclassified, instead of being a sedan, it's a sports car, it also cannot compete with the top tier sports cars. What a surprise. And during our live stream this past Tuesday, we were doing various uh, races and stunt races because, you know, it was double money. Double money till I think, uh, tomorrow, I, I believe. One of the stunt races was in the city. And there's a part of the uh, race, which I'm reenacting right now on the screen. And I tested it over and over again on my own after the live stream. And the same thing happens. The Revolter cannot make that jump. Most of the other sports cars probably could make this jump because they're sports cars. The Revolter is obviously not a sports car. It's too heavy to be a sports car, and it's not fast enough to make that jump. Even though there's speed boosts that will ramp you all the way up in the hopes that you make it to the other side. Nope, not with the Revolter. I tried every trick. I tried flips. I tried barrel rolls. I went all the way back, and I revved the engine up, and never once did I make it to the other side in this particular part of this stunt race in the city. Another reason why vehicles should be properly classified in this game, Rockstar. The other reason is, it's just stupid to classify the Revolter as a sports car when it's a sedan. The same thing goes for the Strider a few weeks ago when I ran about that. It's clearly an SUV, not a sports car. And that's one reason why we did the Discuss video about a month ago regarding the misclassification of certain vehicles in this game. And the need for Rockstar to somehow get these cars and move them to the correct classes that they should be in are, like I said in that Discuss video over a month ago, create new classes for some of the other vehicles so that it makes more sense. The other issue I don't like about the Revolter is for this $1.6 million price tag, you think it would come with some bells and whistles, some mods, some customization. Well, if you go down to Los Santos Customs or your own you know, executive custom shop or your MOC or your Avenger, yeah, you will notice a lack of customization options for the Revolter. Now, you're probably wondering, Go Burns, why did you just mention the MOC and Avenger? Like most average cars, you can't take in there to customize, only the weaponized cars. Well, guess what? This is one of those cars, along with the Ardent, Safari, Viserys, and Sylvestra, that you can add weapons to. Now, I've kind of thrown in the towel on this, you know, issue. But yes, you have to have an MOC or an Avenger, which means you need a bunker or a facility 
depending on which one you're going to go with, in order to put those $95,000 machine guns on the Revolter, it's the same gun. I mean, it doesn't do much damage at all. But, you know, if you want to put guns on your Revolter, I'm not stopping you at all. The other issue is the same problem that the Ardent uh, Safari, Viserys, and Sylvester have. Semi-weaponized cars that can be easily destroyed with sticky bombs or rockets from a rocket launcher. Only one rocket takes this car out. But once again, been there, done that with those previous cars I've already mentioned. I've kind of sort of given up on the whole notion of why Rockstar decides to put weapons on these cars now when they don't even bother to put any sort of armor buff to give us at least, you know, a little bit of, you know, protection when people are throwing sticky bombs or rockets at these cars. It's pointless, but I digress. Okay, so the other issue regarding the Ubermach Revolter is in plain sight. When you look at this car, and I don't claim to be a car expert, I'm not, it clearly looks like a Cadillac, right? So why, Rockstar, did you put a vehicle that's obviously a Cadillac into the fictional brand Ubermach, which is actually based off BMW, instead of Albany? Albany is the fictional version of Cadillac in Grand Theft Auto Online. But it goes even deeper than that because apparently Ubermach was not the original brand that this car was going to be under. And shout out to one of my subscribers, Keyshawn, for pointing this out in the comments section in the uh, live stream. Yeah, so if we take the camera of the uh, iFruit phone and we zoom in on the back, look beneath the Ubermach logo, you will see another logo. <laughs> the Fister logo, which is the fictional brand of Porsche. And the problem is also in the front. So we go to the front, zoom the camera in, and no joke, once again, beneath the Ubermach logo, Fister. So originally, I guess the uh, whoever made this car had it set to be a Fister Revolter. But then somebody's like, no, wait, we can't have it as a, a Fister Revolter. It looks nothing like a Porsche. Then why didn't they, then and there, change the logo to Albany since it obviously is based off a concept Cadillac. It made just as much sense to have it as a Fister as it does as an Ubermach. And it makes just as much sense to put guns on it as it does to classify this thing as a sports car instead of a sedan. If the Revolter was a sedan, it could even be a top tier high performance sedan. And you know what? We need more of those in the sedan category. And that's one thing that really grinds my gears about this whole situation. You have other four-door sports cars that should be moved over. Like, for example, the Buffalo S. Some would say it belongs in the muscle category. I can see that point of view. Others say that since it's a four-door, technically we should move it over in sedans, which I'd be perfectly happy with because we don't have enough sedans. Another car, the Shafter V12 should also be moved from the sports car to the sedan. And if you want a four-door sports car, more power to you. I would recommend getting the Shafter V12 instead, or the Buffalo S, or the Sprunk Buffalo. All those three options are better and cheaper than the Ubermach Revolter. Uh, some days I feel like Bill Murray in Groundhog Day. But if you have a rant suggestion for a future episode, be it about Grand Theft Auto, gaming, YouTube, as long as I have yet to do it, be sure and check the rant playlist first. Feel free and send your rant suggestion my way via the comment section, Twitter, Facebook, or Discord. All of my social media linked below in the description section. <laughs>